What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Sick yet? Good. <laughs> Last time, we managed to get to the final huge materia off of a rocket that was being sent straight to Meteor. The rocket itself failed to take down Meteor, but with all four huge materia in hand, we went on over to Cosmo Canyon and talked to Bugenhagen. We have ourselves our next destination. We need to try to find out what Eris was planning to do to stop Meteor before Sephiroth cut her down. The only way to potentially find that answer would be to head back to the ancient capital. In this episode, we're not gonna do that immediately. Why? Because I've been informed of goodies. And I want said goodies because they can be potentially helpful stuff. Now the first of these places is actually here in Cosmo Canyon. Conveniently enough. Where we need to head is back up to Bugenhagen's house. So I'm gonna cut ahead to his place. I was informed that there was a room that we can now access, and apparently there's someone here taking care of his stuff. I hope Great Bugenhagen will take care and not overexert himself. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I may be light. But I'm not as young as Nanaki. Oops! Ugh. That will only get you angry. You're just like me. <laughs> huh, one of the elders is actually looking after his stuff. Okay, well, one thing I was told was that there was something... Oh, actually, no! It wasn't in Bugenhagen's house! Okay, I was told that there was something in Red's room. And that instinctually made me think it was here in Bugenhagen's house. I forgot, Red lives elsewhere, so why don't we head over there? Okay, so Red's place should be in the hotel here. Yeah, right through here. Oh, there's actually someone here. Hello. Both Nanaki and Mr. Bugenhagen are gone. I feel so lonely. Huh, okay. I don't see anything of worth. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Maybe I need to have Red in my party. Yeah, because he's saying Nanaki and Bugenhagen, so... Maybe if I have Red, something will happen? Okay, and so I'm back with Red in my party. Let's see if that made a difference. It totally did. That Nanaki slick! He said, I'll protect the canyon. But he didn't. I don't care about Nanaki anymore. Sorry. I'm really sorry. But now I have... Huh? I'll protect this canyon, but he didn't. I don't care about Nanaki. Weird. Okay. Hmm. I'm still confused. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what was supposed to happen or if I missed something. Um, oops. Maybe there's something else here. I mean, I know that there was like a place that we seemingly could get through, but I saw no way of actually going through. Oh, this way is open now. Why is this way open now? I don't know and I don't care- Ooh, Ooh, there's multiple things here! 
full cure materia. And what is this? An elixir. And a magic source. Nice. Full cure materia. What is that? Full cure. Equips full cure. Which does what? <laughs> Like, seriously, hold on. Because these are normal cure spells. Is full cure just a full heal? Like, it completely restores HP no matter what it is. No matter what my HP is at. Maybe. That's the only thing that I could think of. Because, I mean, it's called full cure. And it's the only thing that this materia has. Hmm. Interesting. That is a very interesting materia to have. One thing I'm kind of wondering about is whether to actually give that to someone. I need more of these types of things. Because... <clears> hmm. <throat> because what I'm thinking of is that the way your full cure works, how I'm thinking about using it would be to replace normal cures. So that way, I just have a character who could, you know, just fully heal everyone. No matter what their HP is. I should probably get Yuffie back in my party. Which... I mean, is interesting, because then I would have one person to absolutely be the dedicated healer. Because then they could fully heal everyone, no matter what the situation would be. The downside is that... I mean, the way that I see it, it's pretty much useless otherwise. Because I need to raise it up to level 2 before I even get access to the spell. And I'm thinking to re just replace a normal restore materia. Because everything else would be, aside from regen, kind of useless. Hmm. I mean, I am would sort of think maybe Cloud? I mean, the reason why I don't want to have both is just the simple fact that I would need more Materia slots for it. And I'm kind of running low on Materia slots as is. I mean, heck, if I could just give this to Yuffie, that would also be really freaking amazing. Uh, do I want to give that to Cloud, though? I mean, the good thing with giving it to Cloud would be a boost to magic. Everything dealing with magic, which is kind of important for Cloud. But do I want to give up his ability to heal? At least temporarily, because I do that. I mean, I also lose the ability to use regen, but everyone has the same materia at four stars. I think so. I was thinking maybe not, but having someone to be like an automatic, okay, I need healing, I need a ton of healing, and if we get to a point where it's like deal, an enemy deals a ton of damage and just normal cures aren't really cutting it, then a full cure might be what I would need, especially if my HP continues to go up. Double especially so with these HP pluses that I have. Because once these level up, then my HP will exponentially grow larger. So I think I might do this. Plus it does give Cloud a bit more in terms of his magic capabilities. So we'll go do that and hopefully that... I accidentally went back into town. Hopefully that will work out in the long run. It hurts me in the short run, 
but I'm hoping this will work out to my advantage down the line. That was only one of the goodies. That wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting something specifically for red. But you know, I'm actually quite content with this. Okay, so our second destination, in terms of our goodie hunt, takes us back to Rocket Town. There should be someone close by to a materia shop? I forget where it is. Uh, no, this is just some guy's house. Oh, these were the people who were complaining, like, Ah, oh, man, nothing ever happens in this town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I mean... Wait, was there a materia shop? I thought this was just weapons. Yeah, wait a minute. Are these here before? Yeah, I think so. Wait, what? I don't think the safety belt was here before. Protects against sudden death, petrify, and slow numb. Oh, no, wait. Hold up. Would that be counterintuitive? It would be counterintuitive because I would need something in armor, not an accessory, because the curse ring is an accessory. So, yeah, wait a minute. Was that chest always there? Fourth bracelet? What is that? Why do I always keep going to items? Fourth bracelet. Ooh. Okay, five materia slots, a nice boost to defense, a huge boost to magic defense. Not bad. It'd be a slight decrease for Yuffie, but it would give her a ton of magic defense and an extra materia slot. Ooh. We'll go with that. And that gives her one additional materia. What would I want to give actually? Hmm. No, I don't think that would work. I was told about, like, the weapons I found for Yuffie and Tifa. They actually are better than what I initially thought. At least Yuffie's is. Because they also have different passive effects. Or different ways of dealing damage as well. But Yuffie's, I think it was either manipulate or morph, but apparently that weapon dramatically increases the success rate. So that would be interesting if I gave that to her, except I'm not really utilizing these, either or. Hmm. I mean, there's always the option of just putting on a summon. Ah, man, I really don't have anything that would potentially benefit you. Wait, actually, ooh. Now there's an idea. Would it be overkill? Probably. But I'm thinking of getting another HP capacity. I mean, that sounds overkill, but honestly, I would not mind that. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here. I don't recall there actually being a Materia shop in Rocket Town. Because that's an... Or, wait. Was this it? Item shop. No, it is actually... Huh. This is actually a materia shop. Okay. In which case, I was told to talk to someone outside it. Would it be this guy? My... My precious rocket. It's gone. Huh. I know. 
No matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. But I just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. You have anything more to say? Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kinda hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. Wait, what? Venus Gospel? I wish you'd take care of it and use it. What is it? The fact, with a name like Venus Gospel, that almost sounds like a summon or some type of what? Ooh, it's a lance for Sid. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I wonder. Actually, hold up. Did I unequip Sid's materia? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. No, I didn't. So I actually have quite a bit that I could potentially give to Yuffie. Um, anything to potentially give her? Neo Bahamut. I mean. I don't think there's a really good reason, considering that Tifa is my summoner and not Yuffie. Kind of want to lay off on the like on the magic stuff on her, but nothing else would really benefit her too much. She already has sense. And just for kicks and giggles, and also for the plus one. Actually, it might be more advantageous if I just took that off, Sids. Do 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 going to Sid. Cause long range is useless on Yuffie. There we go. Okay, now let's get Sid in the party and see what exactly this Venus Gospel is. Venus Gospel. Oh! The exact same thing as with Tifa and Yuffie. These are apparently special weapons called ultimate weapons, so I assume that these are technically the best weapons that the certain character can get. And now we've got Sid's. Interesting. Well, I give it to him. Eh. I mean, the no growth kind of hurts. So I'm gonna lay off on those, but it's still nice to have. In case we are forced to take Sid into our party again. Alright, so that's two destinations down. Off to our third and final one. And this one takes us all the way back to the wrong continent. All the way back to Midgar. There's apparently something else here that can be very helpful for us. So I will meet you guys back in Sector 6, actually. Although now that I think about it, I think Sector 6 is about one of the only things we can access in Midgar. I didn't mean to actually talk to you. Now where we are heading off to back here is actually the weapon shop of all places. That's not the weapon shop, is it? Nope! Wrong place! How could I forget it had a tank outside of it? Or at least I thought there was a tank. I thought there was a tank out here. Oh well, whatever. The point is, is that we need to head here. Not to talk to the shopkeep, although we're gonna do it anyway. Yup, nothing here. Instead, we need to talk to this guy. Right over here. The guy we bought the battery from. Oh, so you're back. I got something good for you. Why don't you buy it? You probably just found it lying around somewhere, right? I'll admit that I found it, but you may never be able to get another one like it again. How about a what? What kind of price is that? Do I even have that much money? Let's try it. 129,000 yen, or yen, playing too much Persona and Tokyo Mirage Sessions. 129,000 gil. 
Okay, so I'm only down by about 17,000. I can probably grind up that much. Ooh, actually, perfect grinding spot. If I could get back to that underwater airplane and kill a couple of those unknown enemies, like, two or three would give me enough money for that. The only problem is, is that I need to kill them, but whatever. I took them down before. They're a pain to take down, but not impossible. So I'm going to see what I can do about getting back to that ship and getting some more money. So I will be back. Aurora armlets? Huh. Okay, interesting. I could go and heal Yuffie. Okay. So that's interesting that that's what this thing has for stealing. Let's maybe go ahead and murder it now. Kind of like that. Bolt armlet? Interesting. Also, I think that creepy touch is simply a counterattack, so I'm not gonna get anywhere with... with just trying to get rid of it. In which case, just murder it. Wait, does Asuna cure that? Well, I mean, everyone leveled up, which is really nice. No. I guess it doesn't seem like it. Life? No. I didn't think that would work either. Weird. How did Yuffie get out of the... You know what? Don't question it. We got the gill. Let's head back to Midgar. That scared the hell out of me! <laughs> okay, okay. Aside from having a mini heart attack, now let's get back to Midgar. Alright, with Gil in hand, we can go and see whatever it is that guy has after we heal. Mostly, I just want to get rid of that sadness without wasting my hypers. Uh, doesn't look like there's any additional items here. Okay. Now, let's... Darn it. Like, why is it like he's one of the few people who, like, I can just run up to and it will start a conversation? That isn't like a special event or anything. Oh well, whatever. We got what we need, we got the money, let's see what this super amazing thing is. Never be able to get another one like it. Okay, let's see what it is. This is gonna use up all our money, but let's go ahead and buy it. Hey, much obliged. You'll never regret it. Sneak Glove. Wait, is that? No. Ooh! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I mean, I lose the protect ring, but for Tifa, this is perfect. And it even fits her character because, you know, she punches things to death. I mean, her weapon is God's hand, for crying out loud. That is awesome. That is awesome. I am a fan. I am a huge fan. I don't care how much- how much gill that costs. I don't care how poor we are. We'll be able to make it back. Because now we can have a higher success rate. Yes, I'm stealing stuff from enemies! Oh, I am so happy. I am so happy. That one's absolutely worth it. Let's get out of Midgar.
That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay. Well, I mean, I can't even think of any other good reason to buy anything. The only thing that I could potentially think of would be if we wanted to raise a golden chocobo, which I've said repeatedly we're not going to do. At least rate the raising portion. And possibly stuff at the gold saucer. But I'm still not sure if I would be capable of actually taking that on. <laughs> so we are still going to promptly ignore it. <laughs> still, with all those goodies in hand, those are some really nice goodies. We can now move on to what we are supposed to be doing. We need to head back to the ancient city, which... That again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm pretty sure it was here on the northern continent. Fine, not there. Right over here? Yeah, right over here. Because it was through the forest. And we get through the forest through Bone Town. Alright, so now that we're back here. We can proceed to ignore the archaeological dig, this time. And head to the ancient capital. So onwards we travel, and onwards we go. Back to the site where Eris died. It does give us a chance to, you know, go through this area again. I don't think there was anything that I missed the first time around. At least I hope not. Can I head down this way? It doesn't lead to anywhere important. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, I could certainly use, like, the AP for my materia and money. You know, I said that I didn't quite really have too much of a use for money. But I would like to head back to the Gold Saucer at some point, so I kinda need money. Eventually. Well, we've made it back. To the ancient capital. Huh. Now I wonder... If there would be any place that we would potentially go to, it would be the site where Eris died. Since that was specifically where she was praying for whatever purpose. Ugh, again? The stream of consciousness. Could this be the words of the ancients? Nope, still can't understand a thing. Okay, that was worth a shot because I... To be honest, I thought it had something to do with the huge materia, and then Cloud decided to leave them behind. <laughs> so, maybe we'll understand what those are for soon enough. As for right now, though, we head to the capital proper. Through this overgrown brush, and over to the central area. Okay, so now that we're back here, hopefully that spiral staircase is still there. Nope, it's a goldfish! Okay. That doesn't help me at all. Maybe I need to just rest, because it was at night time that it opened up. So maybe it is a sort of time of day thing. Well, it's worth a shot. Let's head back to where that resting spot is. Actually, before we head back there, another thought occurred to me. There was this area over here that I thought was highly suspicious, yet we could do nothing the first time we were here. Let's maybe check this area. Well, looks like I made the right call. This is... Yes, exactly! 
Are you getting something? Give me a moment. Hmm. I wonder what he's doing. But it, he is at what I thought seemed very highly, you know, suspicious. Maybe this is its purpose. The knowledge of the ancients swirling around here is telling me one thing. The planet's in a crisis. A crisis beyond human power or endless time. It says, when the time comes, we must search for holy. Holy? Holy. The ultimate white magic. Magic that might stand against Meteor. Perhaps our last hope to save the planet from Meteor. If a soul-seeking holy reaches the planet, it will appear. Ho ho ho. Meteor, weapon, everything will disappear. Perhaps even ourselves. Even us? It is up to the planet to, to decide. What is best for the planet? What is bad for the planet? All that is bad will disappear. That is all. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder which we humans are. Search for holy. How do we do it? Speak to the planet. Get the white materia. This will bound the planet to humans. Then, speak to the planet. If our wish reaches the planet, the white materia will begin to grow a pale green. This is the end. Eris had the white materia. But when Eris died, it fell from the altar. That's why this is the end. Look at this. Huh? Ancient's writing. Can you read it? I can't even make it out! <sighs> this is no time for jokes! I'm not an ancient. I can't read this thing. I may be old, but my eyes aren't completely bad yet. Look closely below the writing. There's something written in chalk. Even sunlight can't reach. Key. It was probably written by a scientist who's been here. He probably used all his energy to make out these two words. Key. To what? I don't know. But it probably has something to do with our riddle. The riddle then it must have something to do with Eris. So this note points to where the key is. Probably. Use these words as clues and go find the key. I'll continue to figure out the ancients is writing. A place even sunlight won't reach is where the key is, right? When you find the key, or when you can't go any further, come back here. Maybe I'll understand more from the writing and get some new information for you.
a key where even the sun doesn't shine. Where sunlight can't reach is where the key is. Where even sunlight can't reach. Honestly, my first thought, Midgar. The way that the city is set up, I think it was even stated at the beginning of the game that sunlight couldn't pierce Midgar. Because of the way that the city is set up, it's always in a perpetual state of night. That, I think, is where our destination is. Somewhere in Midgar is where this key is. I don't know where in Midgar it would be. I mean... Maybe it's somewhere in Sector 6? Maybe it's somewhere in Eris' house? Maybe it's somewhere in Shinra headquarters? Honestly, those are our only destinations. But... We'll have to take another look there next time. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! We head back to Midgar. I mean, there's nothing really indicating that Midgar is or isn't, but I can't think of any other destination. The only other place where sunlight wouldn't be able to reach would be, like, underground or in caves or something like that. But I think that the main point is that Midgar is an entire city devoid of sunlight. So I really do think that that is where we're supposed to go to next. So we'll head there and see if our key happens to be in that industrialized, polluted city. So until next time, everyone. Take care.